This week, Pluto moves into the sign of Aquarius. Now, Pluto is the planetary ruler of power and control, and also transformation. Pluto is the ruler of the underworld. Aquarius is the sign which represents freedom, the collective consciousness, and liberation through sharing truth. The last time Pluto went through Aquarius was 245 years ago, at the end of the 18th century. And what happened during this time was not necessarily obvious, but the way Pluto really works is in the shadows. It works by exposing the truth and demanding transformation of what is decaying and what is ultimately toxic. When we look at some of the ideas which were being born in this period of history, things get so interesting. In 1787, the Committee for the Abolition of the Slave Trade was formed. In 1789, the French Revolution began. In 1793, a slave rebellion broke out in Haiti and many more followed across the colonised world. In this period of history, we saw Thomas Paine publishing essays such as The Rights of Man and The Age of Reason, and these, amongst other works, really sparked off the idea of the indefinite perfectibility of man, or man's progress. The idea that when we know better, we should do better, and that we can advance ourselves through free thinking and push ourselves to become better people. And actually, throughout this period of history, when Pluto was in Aquarius, we see women's rights come to the forefront of the agenda. Women were still considered as less, but the debate on this began here. Famously, the Marquis de Condorcet, who was a French philosopher, wrote about women's equality and how logically their equality was a no-brainer. The other thing that happened during this period was William Blake publishing his visionary works, Songs of Innocence and Experience, and these were a defining feature of the Romantic movement and the idealism of freedom, which was born out of this time. It's not a coincidence. And guess where William Blake honed his craft and where he found an audience for his work? In the blue stocking salons, which were led by intellectual and educated women. The other thing that happened during this time was that we began to see the call for prison reform and the earliest ideas of moving from a system which punishes to one that rehabilitates. Oh yeah, and in 1790, burning women at the stake for treason was also abolished in England after the last official burning of a woman at the stake in 1789, who was Catherine Murphy, for coining or counterfeiting money. There's no such thing as a coincidence. When we look back through history, we get a clue as to what's coming next. Pluto is about to enter Aquarius again. Which steps towards freedom will society make now? Don't forget to follow me, Jemima Kana, for more like this every day.